Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Or morning, I should say. It's morning, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just getting ready to go to work, but we thought we'd do a bit of a catch up. Um, yeah, we didn't have a video last week because it was my daughter's wedding. What a great time we had there. We did. It was lovely. It was really lovely. So um, that was nice. Fantastic day. Uh, back to reality. Yeah. Lots of work on. Um, so where are we? What's going on? Well, this week we should have our worktops. Actually, today we should have our worktops. We should have our cushions, maybe, this week. We might get our dinette. Maybe. Cushions are a way to be recovered. <laughs> We've got um, our oak trims. You put a couple of it, you just try. Yeah, I'll just pick you up there. Um, and I've put a couple of pieces up there. Look, you can see. See what a difference that makes. Um, sorry, that's a bit clunky, but there you go. Uh, <coughs> what else? Uh, oven, oven is on order. Yeah. Not Tim. Uh, just said it was due in. It's not due in, but we don't know when that is. Uh, uh, always, and <coughs> I think anybody that builds a boat, and there might be some other videos out there, that they just do this, then they do that, and then they... <laughs> that's beyond me uh, uh, it feels like there's 25 things going on and I think there has to be to keep pushing it forward yeah. otherwise it is going to take you several years to fit out another boat so we're what did we say we were into month seven I think yeah into month seven and uh yeah I think we've come a long way so With that, uh what was I going to say the work tops of the off cut we've had a top for a vanity unit yeah. that we're going to build in the bathroom so that's there that's as well. It, it was a yeah, a, 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 a fairly piece. large offcut. So uh, we've had that done. So that that's that's ready. So yeah, just cracking on. We've uh, struggling to find a, a, a joiner to do our A-frame. We may have found some. We may not. I ask, and they say, "Oh yeah, 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 we could do that." And you send them a drawing. They just like, the way they go. Um, um, right. Yeah. That's a quick intro. We're going to go off to work. And then when we get back, we're gonna we're gonna get cracking a bit, are we? Yeah, I'm sure you will. I'm sure I don't think I will actually. I've not been able to this week because it's so sleepy after the weekend. Since, since the weekend, I'm like, and this is my long day as well. Yeah, I've got a fairly I've got a fairly busy day today. <laughs> right, uh, I don't know what we're going to be working on, but it will be something. This. Right, here's our worktop. It's arrived. <laughs> it's arrived and miraculously found its way into the boat. Um, yeah, you can see here's the, here's the plastic peel back. So, fans washing up because that's the last chance we'd be able to use that sink for about three days. So what I've got to do is turn this upside down, bond the stainless steel sink to the underside of this and leave that cure for a couple of days. Uh, before we can ins actually install it, uh, the tap's fairly straightforward because the, the hole's already there, so that's, that's straightforward enough. But it's just giving that sink basin enough time to uh, completely cure. Because this sink's onto the new before, just make sure all this is clean. And back to clean steel. That's it. Nice clean. That's it. So we'll treat that with alcohol as well. No we'll wipe. You are having alcohol this it's early in the afternoon. Must be time. Must be time. Just a guide from underneath so I know where the sink is. Yeah. Because once it's, I can't see underneath, so. And this one is the overflow, this side tap. Overflow needs to be that side, doesn't it? Yes. I'm just gonna put, yeah, that's better. I'm just gonna put some extra on the edge, on the outer curve.
Okay. I have uh, wiped all these with alcohol wipes, both sides. Have you got the right way? Absolutely, because this drain is there, yeah. that's what I marked. Just checking. That's okay. <laughs> Well, the, the right way was with them fittings, but uh, I wasn't using them either. So I'm just going to put a gobby. Wait for all the hate mail to come through. You're doing that all wrong. I know, I know fans really got attached to these uh, plywood work tops, didn't you? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no. Ow. So we're going to see if this uh, work top where the hob anything like is uh, okay. Well, promising so far. I know I've probably got to push that back a bit, we know, because this tile's got to sit behind there, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want this? Yeah. Is it a top and a bottom for this? I think that's the top. The other way. No, the same. The same fleck on both sides. Okay. Yes, yeah, about right by this. Don't take it off. No, I'm not going to take it off. All I've got to do is cut a great big hole in that. <laughs> uh, nice. So why wouldn't they do it? Because they said... It might weaken it or something. Well, it will weaken it. They didn't want to... You don't think it's any different from the... No, it's, it thing. is because the they have a minimum, a mi minimum amount of meat left, if that makes sense, be, and they won't cut them to deliver. Right. So Martin's got to do it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not uh, looking forward to that. Well, me and Fran just put the worktop in here, and then couldn't get it back out again. <laughs> so I've got to take. I guarantee you, and this is a guarantee. Any job you think you can do on a on land or on a, in house, it is twice as hard on a boat. I guarantee you, it's twice as hard. So many more things can go wrong, are in the way, interfere with each other. It's a it can be a complete pain in the. <laughs> so, of course, one of the things is because we're living here now, all the cupboards are full of stuff. So jigsaws and multi tools and cutting wood. Uh, that makes a hell of a mess. It a bit easier okay there's a <clears throat> worktop by no means complete but it is in and it is a bit easier to get in and out now uh under the gunnels just try. there'll be tiles on the back of there so that that wood where i've scratched it is a bit sacrificial anyway so um yeah that's uh that's in and everywhere where's a bit of a mess because obviously we lost the sink so everything's piled up all over the place but uh you get the idea, hopefully. I'm gonna tackle some of these tiles. Just gonna put the top ones on for now. Uh, I am going underneath the gunnels and down behind as well. Um, some of that's heat protection, some of it to make it look nice. Then I can bring the wood up to it and, and carry on my 
will journey into the bathroom. But I can't do any of that till I've got these tiles on. So I'm going to do that first. Using the trusted CT1 again. Um, it's become a bit of a staple. Uh, I don't think any kind of normal tile adhesive is going to work for this job. And this stuff certainly will. Yeah, tile adhesive, if you would just think about it a little bit, and maybe some people will argue with me, fair enough. My opinion is tile adhesive is meant to go onto walls and things that even though they say flexible adhesive or flexible grout, it ain't gonna be. <laughs> Not like a boat is, a boat moves all over the place. And this stuff, well, if you've ever seen this demonstrated, it literally sticks anything to anything. Um, and it's, it's, it's the best, best sort of adhesive I've, I've ever used, so. So I've just um, built like that bit of a barrier there, barrier, mm. ledge, whatever, to rest these tiles on. Because one thing that can happen when you're gluing onto a surface, a vertical surface, as you probably know, things slide off. Gravity has a bit of a hand in that. So this is my first job for today. Just a little bit of a, I can see something I've done kind of day, job, thing. And I've only got one tube of this CT1 at the moment, so. But this will, I mean, I'm just putting five dots on, look. You'd have to smash them to get them off. First bit of something for today. That looks quite nice actually. Tying in, tying in that green, purple and grey. Might not be everybody's cup of tea, but we, we quite like it. Uh, boat's still a bit of a mess. Actually, it's not too bad, is it really? I think we've done all right. Right, that's that one. Right, what am I gonna do next? I'm just building the frame for underneath the uh, the uh, worktop for the vanity unit. Just mocking that up. I'll screw that together. Then I'll build the once I know the top's right to the worktop. Then I'll build the rest of the frame from there. All right, there's my frame cut up. Uh, yeah, sorry about that light again. Weird. Uh, I think I think so. I've got a dark T-shirt on. Oh, who cares? Right, um, there's the frame. So I'll drill and screw and glue all that together, and that's my uh, my unit top base thing, top base thing, hmm, whatever that means. Anyway, uh, I've just I've just, somebody's just been fed some cable. Got some cable. Have you got any cable, Mark? Yeah, I have. Actually, I've got tons of it. Uh, how much is that? Forget it. Get me some beers. So I didn't get beers. I got a couple of bottles of cider. And, and I don't know how she managed it, Fran's got a bottle of Prosecco as well. Well, I will work for food, drink, tattoos. Um, there's probably other things on that list that we won't go into. But uh, yes, right, shut up, carry on with this. made well no <laughs> the top the top's made so this is gonna sit sort of here somewhere um, we've, we've changed our sink well I broke the one uh, pen. 
Uh, this the thing we've got it, it now actually sits on the top of the unit. It makes my life a little bit easier actually. So I'm going to put this unit a little bit lower than our kitchen units. So I'm just going to sort of, I just want to mop this up really. Um, so I'm going to go for, which is, this is what I could do with an assistant. Fran is a little bit a little bit vertically challenged, so I've got to make sure it's sort of okay for her as well. Well, that is sort of how I expected it, I think. Got sawdust everywhere again. It's just to hold that up because I can put the sink on it. I can put the sink on it and uh, check all that for height and all that sort of stuff. So. so by just mocking it up, I said mocking it up. Here. I can get a feel for height, distance to the wall, all that kind of stuff. So, oh, let's raise you up. Right there, you get the idea. So the toilet will sit in this bit here which I'm just going to slide in now and have a look at that see what that looks like because this is all just in the head at the moment well not in the head but you know it's it's the first time this sort of shape has all come together right well, see what fun thinks of that before I make the rest of that unit right I'll leave that now let uh, let Frank come and just uh, make sure that's not too high for anything. Hopefully he can't hit metallic in the background. Uh, I hope it's not loud enough for the um, YouTube police. Right, okay. Right, well, something else to do. Uh, while I'm waiting for Fran, I'm grabbing a totally nutritious lunch. Possibly. <laughs> But it is quick and it's all I've got. So there you go. Uh, well, that's doing what it's doing, which is pretty much nothing. Uh, I'm doing our, carrying on with our trim. Uh, and I'm going to put the trim over over the tiles that fin hopefully finishes that off quite nicely. I'm just messing around and see what looks best. Um, so, yes, that's what I'm doing now. And eating lunch and thinking about something else probably. But uh, here we go. Uh, I'm sort of toying with that idea because it sort of sits behind the tile. It is it is beveled both sides. It might have been better if I'd got half quadrant or something, but I haven't. And I really want to use what I've got. And if it looks okay, then I'm all right with that. But that, that does sit behind that quite nicely. And if I can get a nice 45 degree cut on that, uh, once it's grouted in, I think that'll look quite neat. <clears throat> if we 
pretty happy with that there, <coughs> if it hadn't fell off. Just show chamfering that off there. Where's the, the offending article? Just so that looks something like and up to those tiles. And the news is. What? You're back. Oh. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> Yeah, so see, I've had my pot noodle, you've got your cheese on toast, have you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, just cracking on to, into this, getting this something like. Fans approve the height of the uh, vanity unit. It seems fine to me. I haven't got it in writing, maybe I should. Mm. I don't know whether it's supposed to be lower or... No, it's wherever we want it, so... Cracking on. Du -du -du -du. Let's get these fixed, this trim. Do we have enough tiles for a roll in the toilet? I think so. Might be a good idea. Yeah, oh, I had thought of that, probably put them in the toilet as well. Okay, get the air compressor all winded up. I can glue that on. And um He's doing a good job this morning. I, I, I'm knackered, but I'm 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 getting on with it. Yeah. I am tired, but I'm getting I'm getting on with it. I, I I'm determined to get a fair bit done today. And you guys are getting a day in the life, so there you go. Right, pressing on. Oh, hang on. Just put that one on first. Just uh, took the corner off. Give me a second. I'll be back. It's only a bit, but I'll just take that. I'll just run the sander down there a little bit, just to just to make sure sure there's no sharp edges. There's a cable here, isn't there? Shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be there either. Okay. <laughs> Of this is just a I'll put that one on when I put the other the other oak strip this side of I don't know where that's gonna be exactly. And there you have it. It shouldn't go anywhere. It's only the it's only the start, I've got it all underneath, but uh. looks good though. I think it was a good idea to do it. It's gotta be done anyway, yeah. 
I should carry that on then. So. I'm sure it's about diesel fumes. Fumes? Fumes? Who is John? How was it? John and Karen was on it. Oh, one of the eye boats. Again, working on this basin, sort of vanity area. It's coming along. Just glue this one on. Just put some tape on just to secure it for a bit till it dries. <laughs> so we need to get our boat safety done. Uh, uh, 12 months after our uh, in day launch day if that makes sense I'll just give that a, a sound up I think but don't need it. not now um, yeah we've got to get our boat safety done so I've done what coming what day that was you said we've got a few weeks didn't you huh? you said we're going to have it done in a few weeks no no Oh, a few months. Yeah, October time. Oh, okay. But I'm I'm having to start thinking about it now. So things like securing the gas bottle, fire extinguishers, fire blankets, battery secure, all that stuff. So all that sh stuff. All that sh stuff. Stuff. Um, you taping this one? Hey. Are you taping it? That's not going to go. I don't think it was only here because we might walk past it and catch it. So why did you do that one then? We might walk past that one as well. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, so we've got to get we've got to get that uh, that sorted as well. But so yeah, we got one down there already. Yeah, and those, then we've those... got one for the middle and one for the back. Is that right? Yes, they should be. So with BSS, they should be evenly distributed uh, around the boat um, in view and there should be one at each exit so that one's there one's in the middle in the kitchen area somewhere we link a bit at the side of the bin can't it yeah probably put it down by the bin somewhere and then the other one a bit at the stern doors yeah for obvious reasons uh they should be by you they're, they're there to aid escape not to not to fight fires so much aid escape so yeah so got them they've gone up hopefully our cushions are on their way back today sometime hopefully the cushion that, i'm really keen to see those because that that's that's gonna hopefully that's gonna start and look very finished and it'll start to tie that the purple and the green into the into Everywhere. the boat down, yeah. down the boat a little bit stuff moved yeah we're a bit cluttered didn't we it might not look cluttered to everyone else but to me it is we don't like clutter I, I don't i really don't like clutter at all um so there's a couple of boxes. There's a bit of ply left here, uh, but I, I'm hoping I can use that for shelves in the vanity unit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What well time is it? Is it beer o'clock? No, quarter past three. Is it cider o'clock? No. Four o'clock, you can have a drink. Ah, because it's five o'clock on the continent, isn't it? 
Yeah, we've also booked uh, Betty Dawn for New Year's Eve. We have. What could possibly go wrong? Um, <laughs> Please so, come and join us. <laughs> yeah, so uh, remember, we're off. We're going to be plugging this a little bit. We don't it. Oh, anyway. Um, our, our, other van, our other channel is uh, Fran and Mark Van Travellers. So we'll be heading off on Boxing Day yeah. and uh, catching the ferry to Santander and then driving down towards Benidorm for yeah. three nights because you can't rough, uh, rough, wild camp. Roughing it. Roughing it. You can't rough it. <laughs> can't rough camp in Benidorm. Mm. So we booked a, um, a site there uh, and then we'll be making our way down the to the, the south coast towards near her. Fran, Fran's learnt her first bit of Spanish. Go on. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Ginny, Ginny Tonic. Ginny Tonica. Ginny Tonica. <laughs> Ginny Tonica. <laughs> so she's fun. Uh, it's, no, it wouldn't have took a lot. Even that's uh, struggling to stay in there, is it? <laughs> I just have to think, you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did that on purpose. So yeah, we'll be, six, we'll be six weeks in Spain, starting from Boxing Day, heading on the ferry down there. So if you want to follow us or see what we're doing, or, or not, uh, if, you, if you don't, be, be patient, we'll be back. Yes, we'll be back. On the boaty stuff. But um, we'll be down there in um, in Spain, which is our third attempt. Yeah, and hopefully it's a bit of a well-earned rest. Especially for Martin. Yeah, I definitely need a break. Especially for this old guy. Uh, um, so, yes. Old guy? <laughs> old grumps. I feel grumpy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, where's my grumpy t-shirt? I should have that on. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, check us out on uh, Fran and Mark Van Travellers. We've we haven't got... done much at the moment because we've been working on this. <laughs> we haven't done, we've done nothing on that for a little Long bit, time. have we? No. We have got a couple of gigs coming up, which we're looking forward to. Um... It's probably none of your in well, whatever. Um, when rivers meet, which are um, <coughs> uh, husband and wife, yeah, but we're taking duo. The, we, the take, we take the boat up for that one, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll do a bit on that. Going up to Gloucester Docks, pretty cool. And we've also got a concert in Cardiff, haven't we? Which Cardiff. we're camping down at something gardens, is it? It's a car a parking area by the castle and stuff, so looking forward to that as well. Slowly starting to do a bit more stuff like real life stuff because the boat's been everything for the last six seven months um starting to do a little bit and of we've had things. a manic year with birthdays wait somebody's oh. wedding somebody's <laughs> wedding yeah. who's honeymooning at the moment oh yeah thanks for that picture just this morning sitting on the beach with your feet up with a beer yeah that was that, on a monday morning that went down a treat thank you granddaughter's first birthday this weekend oh, it's just what yeah it's been one thing on top of another so I've, we've got nothing. We've got nothing booked now till August. August. Okay. Oh, and Jesse's oh, no. Jesse's yeah. moving day, so a couple of things. Oh, but yeah. on the I whole, the I'm staying here. I'm building this boat, getting as much done as I can now before, before say before go. we go away. There's yeah. so much to do, but uh, we are getting there, as you know. Right. Anyway, talking about getting there. Yeah. I better go and do something. Stop rabbiting. I'm not rabbiting. I might be rabbiting you. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll move my butt. They can see that, thankfully for them. <laughs> <laughs> so we just spoke. We've just spoke, have we? We've just spoke about these. Well, we have. So um, now he's going to put one up. Put one up here. Saves you just <laughs> battling about the boat. Um, yeah, for BSS, this is the number that uh, they're interested in. For, so for our boat, we need three extinguishers. So that's the minimum, three extinguishers. And they should uh, add up to 21A, 144B. Okay, so that's the important number. Just having three extinguishers um, might not be enough for your boat safety, but... It's all about the size. Yeah, size matters, yeah. It's about, this is about the, the length of time they operate on uh, certain uh, types of fire, so... But they're the numbers you're interested in. So five, uh, 8A, 55B. And you'll see a lot of like things from B and Q and stuff. They're only five A, but if you get three extinguishers, it only comes to fifteen, so it ain't enough. Whereas you get three eights, you've got twenty four. So you're over. So just 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 three extinguishers isn't enough. They have to add up to twenty one A hundred forty four B. Obviously, they go on the size of the boat though. Uh, over 36 foot so most narrow boats oh, we'd have to have will to need three, three extinguishers adding up to that number so 
Um, it's only above 36 foot and most narrow boats are above 36 foot, so. So we're gonna put one in the middle. So in the middle. In the, in the kitchen area. And of course, um, because we've got a, a gas hob, we will also need a fire blanket. A blankie. A blankie. Blankie, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> when you say tidy, well, sort of. Um, that's what I've got to today. Um, it's a start. It's more than a start. That you know, there's. Bit of framing left to do, but uh, it's uh, it's coming on. A lot of work in those. If I was a carpenter with a carpenter shop and stuff, it would be a bit different, but uh, I'm not, so. You don't do a bad job. Oh, I don't know who said that, but. Uh... But yeah, the toilet's, um... the toilet's sort of going there. It's got to go back a little bit, so there's a little bit of wood to channel out and stuff. And I've obviously got to make a hatch so we can get the cassette out the back. <coughs> yeah, that's going to be a task. Um, I just, I, I'll just show you. I don't know if I showed you these in a previous video. We were doing uh, our photo frames. This is our family family one that's still left to be done. But this debacle is some of our travels from around the place. Disney, Pirate Festival, uh, where were we there? Um, Death Valley, Yosemite, Cable Ma Ta Table Mountain in South Africa, Las Vegas, Fran being a nut, nut job at a festival, uh, one of my biking pictures, Dolphins, getting my head cut off, Las Vegas, uh, where's Wally's? This is where we used to go when we had money. <laughs> yeah, when we had money, yeah, we don't anymore. Velocicoaster, um, and I think that was Mexico. I think it was that one. So that's our that's our crazy wall. Um, I think we could fill quite a few of these, <laughs> couldn't we? Yeah. We've had uh, a good ten years. Haven't we? we have had a good ten years, yeah. And we need to finish this one with all family and grandkids and all that sort of stuff. So we need to get on that. Um, mums and dads are on there. We miss those guys, of course we do. But. Uh, Right, I'm gonna get editing, and your your yeah, because the hob isn't connected, back connected yet. Some lazy so and so hasn't cut the hole for the hob yet. No. Don't know what he's been doing. Part timer. What he's been doing? I am part timer. I'll go. The, anyway, uh, there's me curry on, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna sit down and do that. Hopefully, Penny will be here. Is that Penny that just pinged? I don't know. I'm gonna look there. It is Penny, what's it? Oh, it says sorry. Oh. Oh. What's it say? Sorry, I had to go into work. Any oh. chance I can bring in the morning? I'm at work. I'm working down here on this boat, so... Yeah. So, yes. Darn it! <laughs> really looking forward to getting those. Okay, so you're not seeing the covers today, but hopefully you'll see them on the next video. Right, so let's say tata then, and I can go and edit this video and get this done. Um, tata then. Tata then. I'm gonna go in the shower. I need a shower. Well, um. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Right. What did you do? That's us for moonshine. Um, it's all it's all come together as you see. Um, lots of little bits and pieces today. Typical day in the life of building a boat. So uh, sorry we're a bit late. And it's, it is a little bit rushed just because we've been so busy doing other things, but um, glad you're still on board. Literally. Well, but, but if they were, 2,000 <laughs> whatever people on here, it might be a bit... <laughs> a bit full. A bit full, but... Might stop it rocking. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> th thanks so much, guys. We're pressing on. There'll be a lot more, I think, content going forward over the next few weeks because I've got a few weeks now to really knuckle down 
pull his get, finger out. Pull, pull my finger out, Jesus. Um, <laughs> and I've got to get the van ready for Spain and... Well, there's no rush for that. Is there? We're not going till January, December. No, but I've, I've still got to do it. Not yet, but I've still got to do it. Right, ciao for now. Ciao Thanks for, for watching. Now. Please press subscribe. Keep giving us that thumbs up. And give us that thumbs up. And, um, and thanks for the coffees, guys. Oh, thanks for the coffees, guys, who bought us a coffee last week. Um, your name's here. Uh, and the link to buying us a coffee, if you'd like to, is down in the descriptions. But I'll also put that link here as well. It so, all helps, right, our it, all, it all helps our little channel. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, guys, see you next time. See ya. Bye, bye, bye. bye.